we want to say hi to everyone and we want to let you know number one that we are doing well um, despite of all the major crises you've heard um, around this country this 2010 year January earthquake October cholera and now political instability uh, but God has his eyes on us and we feel safe and we feel that we are at the right place right now and and, um, and we want to thank you for your prayers you know, we, we just kind of feel a peace in our hearts that we are where we're supposed to be and praise God we've been in the right place at the right time. We haven't been in front of any um, major chaos. We haven't felt threatened and you know our community is pretty calm and they're pretty supportive and you know they, they, they take care of us and things are pretty calm. We have people coming to our house and, and dropping off baskets of fruit um things like papaya passion fruit um what else oh we've had lemon or lime in this country um we've had sour sop or sweet sop they're like oh, and someone Haitian is, plums someone has even made us a cake oh, uh, twice <laughs> so it just you know people really enjoy having us around and and they just want to show their gratitude even even just the little things we do and rico spends a lot of time just talking with people and listening to people and they feel really encouraged and they don't need to be asking us for things but yet they just want to be be giving and it's it's a blessing it's amazing it blesses our hearts also to see how the community is reaching out um, trying to help in their own small ways and major ways I would say um, especially for this Christmas party that um, we are gonna have for the third time here in Haiti, second time here in Port Salut um, on the 21st of December. So we're going to have it for all the, the children around. Uh, but we don't have any pots and we can't cook for seven or eight hundred kids. Mm -hmm. But the community people have reached out. They said, yes, they will do all the cooking. They will provide all the pots. They will go and haul water from wherever they can find water to cook the food. And, uh, and, and they will put order. Um, Saturday morning they're gonna be building uh, a little fence around the property so they could ensure security so they're reaching out in their own ways and it's amazing it blesses our heart to see them doing everything they can to make a difference as well hey we're here we're here welcome, land. welcome to Haiti wish you were here we've done lots of traveling around Haiti and we just can't believe it is to walk on this beautiful piece of property and look forward to what God is going to do here. Alors on peut plaisir pour moi de comme à son grâce ma chance avec nous et dans belle position comme ça et ça veut dire il y a venir il y a venir comme bien avec qui soit mais c'est quelques jours quelques mois que pour ça il y a pas bien grosse surprise des amis nous au Canada we are so excited to have been able to purchase this property although we are still in need of financial support to help us cover the balance um, see in which way that you could partner and, and pitch in and help us cover the final payments um, by February uh, this beautiful piece of property is located in a lush section of the country which is great to help us to teach the people about agricultural program which we will partner with seed ministries and we can't wait for you guys to come and be a part either by building a fence build the building itself building relationship with the people and teaching about Christ um, I see this campus as an extension of this church itself um, where we will be engaging and teaching the people the same thing as to love God love others and serve the world so come and be a part. Come and serve the world here in Haiti. In one section of the land, we plan to have a guest quarters. So at the end of the day, when you guys are here visiting in Haiti, working hard, you can have a nice relaxing place to get away, unwind, and it'll have some of the comforts from home, like flush toilets and running water and possibly electricity too. One of the things Mayor Davis reminded us when she was visiting the property of her seeing like a, uh, a phone tower. She remember the verse that talks about um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Um, one thing that 
we can see by looking at Haiti, we just see the, the, the chaos, you know, the, the brokenness and the, the, the garbage. This is the easy thing to see. Um, and, and by looking at these things are simple enough or easy enough to discourage someone from wanting to take action and do anything. But I want to remind you that my life is no different than the average person in the street. However, um, somebody had to make a sacrifice somewhere down the line and was able to major, made a make major transformation in my life so I can be who I am and where I am today and standing up wanting to make a difference. So if you stand with us, I believe that we can make a long-lasting impact on many people's lives here in Haiti. And I feel this is our commission. Our commission is to go out and teach everything that Jesus himself has taught us. And I believe it's all about loving one another as we love ourselves.